All right, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about Stillbite. And Stillbite is a very overlooked mineral. And honestly, when was the last time you heard somebody saying, hey, I'm going to run up the old crystal shop and pick up some Stillbite later? Like, it's just, it's, it's very overlooked. It's not a very commonly associated mineral. And I think the reason for that is the specimens that it comes with most of the time are from India and you're going to, it's not going to be the primary, it's going to be the secondary mineral. So a lot of times if, if you do know about apophyllite, um, that commonly comes with still bite and though they're called zeolites, you, you'll commonly see them mixed together. Um, this is one where it's pretty much all still bite and you can kind of see it's like a pinkish uh light pink orangish kind of color and still bite like i said very overlooked mineral and especially for its metaphysical properties um there's better crystal minerals for what it does but hey we're my my whole thing of this channel is i'm going to talk about every possible mineral and crystal and um, fossil everything out there that has energy and this is another one it has its own specific energy to it it vibrates at its own frequency so this is very good if i had to pick one thing specifically for still bite it would be studying and learning now my learning and studying days, I mean, in terms of school, college is long gone, but this is the perfect mineral. And I think you can get this polished too in little polished pieces. The, the best thing is to keep it on you, um, close to you while you're studying. Now, when you're studying, it not only helps you to understand the knowledge, like what you're reading or listening to, it, it kind of breaks through that barrier to help you get it. Sometimes if you read something, I know for me anyway, sometimes if I read something, I have to read it again, maybe even again. And sometimes it just doesn't click. And then one of those times it's like, wait a minute, I get it now. And that's especially with math. Ugh, not a big math fan, but especially it's tough in these courses now. I mean, my daughter goes to school and it's tricky learning all this stuff, especially for the first time. And this is great for that because it, it helps you to understand what you're getting with the knowledge, but not only does it help you understand it and kind of break it down and, and help you like pinpoint. So you, that light bulb goes off. But it also helps you to retain that knowledge. And that's kind of important too because I don't know about you guys. I'm basing it off of me. A lot of times I'll learn something or... And then if you ask me uh, six months later, I can't remember. But this helps you when you learn it to retain it. It helps it stick. So that's really good too. And that's great for, well, anybody... But mostly, if you're going to school, um, college, anything like that, where you have kind of difficulties learning, this is the perfect mineral for that. Give it a try. This is where it excels. And if I had to pick one thing, that's what it would be. So keeping a piece of this close to you, preferably against your skin, an appendant, a bracelet, even in your pocket, um, would, would work wonders for that. So let me show you another one here. This one, as you can see, is a little deeper colors. And still by, it's not as amazing as your amethysts and stuff like that, but it's really nice. It's got a very pinkish, orangish hue to it. This one, you could definitely see that color pop a lot more. And this is kind of a better representation of what it looks like. So... The other thing is, still bite is great for meditation. Now, 
Again, are there better minerals and crystals for meditation? Yes, there are. But this could be used in conjunction or it's just like, I, I always refer to it kind of like pills. If somebody takes pill A, it might not work for them at all. Uh, not at all. It, it's, it all depends on the person. Sometimes if somebody takes pill number B or herb number B or whatever, that might work wonders for them. It's, it, there's, it's so different and unique to, to the person working with the crystal. That's why you really got to work with it and you got to stick with it a little while and see how it goes. But still bite is another one of them great for meditation. And I'm going to just assume you know how to meditate. Hopefully I'll get into some deeper videos and discussions on meditation at some point, but this really stills your mind. And the whole purpose of meditation is to still your mind, get rid of all your thoughts and you just become a little pinpoint of consciousness. And that's what you're shooting for when you meditate. And this helps you break through that barrier and get to that point quicker. Again, one of my other videos I think was, is about dog tooth calcite. Does dog tooth calcite work better in terms of meditation? Yes. But combine the two of them work. Maybe it won't make you know, you never know, but in, in my, from my personal experience, I have better experiences using dog tooth calcite specifically for meditation, but try still bite, give it a shot. Um, it definitely will calm you, put you into that. It's a very, um, spiritual stone still bite. And I don't know if I said this already, but it does come from India. Mostly. I'm sure there's other areas where it comes from, but most of the time this comes with a, a pophilite or still bite just like it is. And they come from India and I'll show you some more specimens coming up where, uh, but everything I have is from India in terms of still bite. Um, so, okay. Studying. Definitely. That's, that's number one. This also can be used with the heart chakra to open it and balance it. However, if you're going to work with still bite, you want to get a specimen where there's still bite mixed with green apophyllite. That is money in terms of heart chakra stuff. But if you just have still bite, I wouldn't recommend it specifically for heart chakra because there's so much else better out there that can get the job done. But again, something to keep in mind and, and work with. The other one, and this is, here's another one. This one's very pale looking, but again, it's just, it's a nice, nice specimen. Another one from India, very pale, pinkish, orangish color. But the other thing, so we got studying, we have the, the deep meditation stuff, intuition, intuition. I'd probably put this at number two besides the studying intuition is like when you know something without knowing it. And I know that's kind of, that sounds kind of complicated, but how many times did you pick up on something and kind of know it was going to happen or just have this intuition not to do something whether it be seconds prior to the event or an hour to the event. Intuition is kind of knowing that it's like that gut feeling, hey, don't go in there. Don't do it or go for it. Either or. That's big with still bite. And definitely if you keep this, I would think more in terms of jewelry Let's be honest. I don't think somebody's going to be, well, I got to get home today and work with my still bite. Uh, you know, if so, great. But if you have this in a jewelry form and you kind of wear it and forget about it type of thing, you will definitely have more intuition and you'll have that m more frequently. And you might not associate it with still bite, but it is. And it's just going to tap into that intuitive uh, point in your mind where you're going to start picking up on stuff like really quickly. So, and that goes along with the studying aspects too. It's all generally connected in the mind somewhere in there, but definitely those are the three big ones, um, to work with. 
this mineral. And now let me show you some of my other specimens here. Let me get these out of here. And this one is probably my favorite. It is pretty much pure stillbite. And this is a whopper. This is my favorite one I have. And I have this front and center on one of my shelves. And again, if you're looking at this, there's other specimens that are, are for this size that's more beautiful and nicer looking and, you know, whatever. But this is gorgeous. Look at this thing. I mean, here's what I was talking about. This comes from India. These crystals in here all mixed in are apophyllite. And they, I don't think I made a video on those yet. I will. Commonly, when you get stillbite, you will see apophyllite mixed in with it. Just like you see here. So, that's a very common thing. But look at this guy. This is a beauty. And even in person, it looks darker, deeper color. Like a peach kind of a color. Now, let me show you my last one here. This one is pretty heavy. Now, this is an all still bite. This has still bite mixed in with it. I got to rest this down. I can't lift it. But these are all apophyllite. I would refer to this more as an apophyllite specimen than a still bite specimen. But the two of these work great together. And they just harmonize perfectly. And that's why they are together. And that's why they grow together. But you can see the still bite all throughout here on this just monster piece. And this is going to work great. Now, obviously, you're not going to take this to school with you. <laughs> you're going to want something a little smaller if you intend on using it for um, retaining knowledge and studying. But just wanted to show you, this is the one of the bigger ones I have. I do have some other Apophyllite ones that are pretty big, but in terms of still bite anyway, another just awesome specimen. And I love showing these off because they're awesome. So let me put that there. And the only other thing I wanted to say... Um, I forgot about this. I meant to do this in the beginning of the video. I just want to say thank you to everybody so much. My channel, I just started this in March of 2022. Just started this. And just uploaded videos only a couple weeks ago. So I really appreciate all the subscribers so far. And I think I'm currently at around 200 or something. I got a long way to go. And I'm going to be around for quite a while. I'm not going anywhere. But very excited to make videos for you guys and get good feedback and good comments. So I am super... And sorry about that. I think my other video got cut off somehow or I bumped it. But I'll merge these two together. But anyway, just wanted to say thank you to everybody for all the uh, support and subscribers and comments and everything so far. And... Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I cannot wait to start giving away crystal and mineral specimens. I'm going to try to do it weekly with, um, I don't want to call it a raffle, but like a giveaway where you subscribe or, uh, have like a little form online and fill out your information and submit it and I'll pick a winner. That's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that. But yeah, that's all about still bite and any questions or whatever you guys want to talk about, just hit me up in the comments and love to hear what you guys think and if anybody has worked with this. But another beautiful mineral is Stillbite. All right, talk to you guys next time.